Hello there, Golfer here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Oh uh, Mass Effect 3. Here, last off, we're rushing for the beam. Just go. That was close. And I can't actually. Oh gosh, just go, just go, just go. Uh, what happened to Ashley and Eve? Wow, what am I supposed to do against that? on
Anderson. You up here too? Followed you up. But we didn't come out the same place. No. At least I don't think we did. What's your surrounding look like? Oh. <sighs> you okay? I've been better. I feel like death. But I'm moving. My scars are showing. It's dark. There's human remains scattered. Sounds familiar. I'm in a dark hallway. Reminds me of your description of the collector base. Uh, makes sense. You think they're making a reaper in here? Oh. Sure. They round them up on Earth, then send the people up here to be processed. Look like any part of the Citadel I've been to. Whoa. Anderson? One of the walls here just realigned itself. The place is shifting, changing. There's a chasm here, and more hallways like the one I was in. I think I'm near an exit. Wow, this is creepy. So what happened to Ash and Edie? I see something up ahead. Might be a way to cross over. Don't get too far ahead of me. Where do you think you're at? Just found that chasm you were talking about. Hold on. I see something. A control panel, maybe. I'm just gonna go on. Anderson! Anderson. Oh, great. Shepard! I can't! I underestimated you, Shepard. What? I warned you. Control is the means to survival. Control of the Reapers, and of you, if necessary. Mm. They're controlling you! I don't think so, Admiral. Controlling me is a lot different than controlling a Reaper. Have a little faith. When humanity discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined, there were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... Uh. Uh. Only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit! We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. 
You're playing with things you don't understand. With power you shouldn't be able to use. I... don't believe that. If we can control it, why shouldn't it be ours? Because... we're not ready. No. This is the way humanity must evolve. Uh, look at yourself. Another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers, and I know with certainty the Crucible will allow me to control them. <laughs> and then what? Look at the power they wield. Look at what they can do. I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. They gave it to this you. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier <laughs> stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? And what if you're wrong? If we destroy the Reapers, this ends today. But if you can't control them... But I can! Are you willing to bet humanity's existence on it? I... know it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! You're... indoctrinated. No! No! The two of you so self-righteous. Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices. You've sacrificed too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... <laughs> it's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. You... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. Oh, what? I don't have enough Paragon? Seriously? You're not yourself anymore. They've taken you. Now! You're the one who failed! could see it like I do. It's uh, perfect. This is it, everyone. Wow, the entire thing just came off. Seriously?
Commander. We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. <laughs> Best seats in the house. God. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you earned a rest. Anderson? Mm. Mm. Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, son. You did good. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. Anderson? Shepard? Commander? I... What do you need me to do? Nothing's happening. The crystal's not firing. It's gotta be something on your end. Commander Shepard! I don't see... I'm not sure how to... Wake up. What? Where am I? The Citadel. It's my home. Who are you? I am the Catalyst. I thought the Citadel was the Catalyst. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. Solution? To what? Chaos. The created will always rebel against their creators. But we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order for the next cycle. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We help them ascend, so they can make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. You'll never understand. You're taking away our future. Without a future, we have no hope. Without hope, 
We might as well be machines. Programmed to do what we're told. You have hope. More than you think. The fact that you were standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Yeah. But how? The crucible changed me. Created new... possibilities. But I can't make them happen. I know you've thought about destroying us. Wipe out all synthetic life if you want, including the Geth. Even you are partly synthetic. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. Soon, your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. Maybe. Or, do you think you can control us? right after all yes but he could never have taken control because we already controlled him but I can you will die you will control us but you will lose everything you have but the Reapers will obey me yes there is another solution yeah synthesis and that is Add your energy to the crucibles. Everything you are will be absorbed and then sent out. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. I... don't know. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? And there will be peace? The cycle will end. Synthesis is the final evolution of life. But we need each other to make it happen. You have a difficult decision. Yeah. Releasing the energy of the Crucible will end the cycle. But it will also destroy the mass relays. The paths are open. But you have to choose. Okay, so we have... <laughs> Control, synthesis, and destroy. It sounds like I die no matter what I choose. So I don't want to destroy. That because he said I'm assuming that it means that the Geth are destroyed as well and stuff. And I don't want that. So all synthetic life. Controlling the Reapers, I'm I was against the Elusive Man saying that, so it doesn't make any much sense either. Plus, it's only that, and if he is right and that is true, like the synthetics will attack their creators the only choice to be for synthesis which doesn't make sense at all because it's going to change our DNA framework well um, synthetics don't actually have DNA S and they're made of material and there's no way that material can make DNA and because of that this makes absolutely no sense I don't really understand it but this is the one that sounds the most convincing because that way it says there won't be peace for long that one says that you'll control us this one's like there will be peace because everyone's going to be human cyborg hybrid freaky as I'll get out let's just go with this one
that's interesting. So the plants have circuitry now. Huh. Hey, you're alive! And you also have it, but you're not actually organic. That makes no sense. Hey, Ash? You're alive too? Cool. Oh well, the women made it. Alright, and that's definitely not Earth. Alright, well there we go, there is Mass Effect 3. So this is the last of this particular walkthrough I might throw in some extra stuff I might show highlights from my other playthroughs like I did with Mass Effect 2 um, the changes and the differences um, so some thoughts I am super duper happy I went infiltrator my gosh that was the best decision I could have made for this difficulty I'm gonna think of it didn't actually show the trophies I'll have to, I'll have to see about that um, I play as I did play on insanity I'll have to pop up the trophies for some reason um so yeah and you know that that being able to turn invisible and running past stuff and hitting stuff especially like with the uh, on uh, Tuchanka with all those brutes that was pretty nice but the, I'm very happy with Infiltrator I believe that it was probably the best choice of being as far away from everyone else all the enemies as possible and this was definitely it's a good game I really like it um it's definitely worth another playthrough I don't feel quite as immersed in it as I did in Mass Effect 2, like I was Commander Shepard. More or less, it was more of a detachment, like you're just playing as him and you're not actually him compared to the second game where it felt more like I was him. It's a different feel to it, and I don't feel like I got to make as many choices as I would have liked, kind of personally, especially that last one. I wonder what would happen if I had enough Paragon, that would have been interesting. But uh, yeah, so... I, I, I'm definitely going to play this game again. So, uh, looks like we've got multiplayer to do and stuff, and that'll be a lot of fun. So, yeah, well, I'm going to go ahead and let the credits roll and give everyone who worked on this game their well-deserved shout-out. So, uh, talk to you after that.
And there we go. Alright guys, well... <clears throat> oh, more. Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. Okay, uh, Commander Shepard has become a legend by ending the Reaper threat. Now you can continue to build that legend through further gameplay and downloadable content. Okay. Oh, so we're just outside the, uh, Salty Elusive Man's base. Okay. Cool. Alright guys, so here we are in my PlayStation Trophy section. And so I totally forgot to do this. Uh, it's been quite a bit of time since I finished. And it's only the 15th. Because I finished this game really quickly. So Mass Effect 3. Um, do, 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 looking for gold. Insanity! There we go, I did get it. Three ten. I finished it five days ago. I finished it four days into the after release. Finished the game on Insanity without changing the difficulty after leaving Earth. So there is proof! That I was playing on Insanity, and I couldn't have changed it in the middle to skip personal touches. I did check and make sure that was the case. Deliver most... So I did actually have most. Did I have... I don't know I don't know what the perfect ending is. There's a supposedly a perfect ending. I'm, I think I might have needed more than what I had. Probably like 100% war score, but I don't know. Um, there's a long service medal. I had an import, and there's Insanity, and there are other trophies. Oh, that one's going to be a pain in the butt. I'm definitely not going to play the game on Insanity difficulty again. <laughs> I'm going to go, like, run through it, like, play it on, like, normal or something. And just work on that. But I've almost got all of the, uh... That's going to be a pain. I've got almost all the trophies. Promote a multiplayer character to Galaxy... Or import an ME3 character. Oh! So I can import an ME3 character and just like kind of start a game and automatically get that trophy. That's an easy one to get. Okay, well, I'm going to cut off this video here. So any other Mass Effect 3 will probably be multiplayer or highlights, most likely. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, and God bless.